Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series in the new season here. <coughs> so here I am in the fourth position and I'm not sure what Black is talking about but uh, Let's take a look at the board. Not a lot of brick, only 8 is a decent brick producing spot. Decent amount of wood and sheep. Also quite some uh, ore available but wheat is not too strong. I think for the first position, black can easily go for 634. Grab the best wheat and ore available and exactly that's what black does here. Because I am in the fourth position, I don't think I will have any ore spots. So I might have to think about a different strategy. Maybe I can get 8510 as an option and then try and go to the sheep port, make use of the sheep that I produce. Yeah, or else I'm not sure. I mean, I think 8, 4, 11, and 9, 5, 10 will be picked up. So it will be difficult for me to get any strong uh, brick position, brick spots as well. Maybe I can go for a setup like 8, 5, 10, 3, 4, 11. I am a little worried uh, that if I go for 8510 somebody might pick up 83 directly especially if somebody goes for something like 6910 as their first placement red goes for 8411 I think that's a fine choice Uh, let's see what orange goes for here. I wouldn't mind getting uh, 5, 9, 10 I, uh, as well. Like maybe 5, 9, 10, 4, 3, 11. But then the production is just too bad. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't like the setup at all. Although I am getting all 5 resources, but my production is... Very, very bad. And I don't think I will be able to cope up with other players in that case. Yeah, I still like 8, 5, 10 quite a bit. Uh, 6. Yeah, but because Orange here has gone for 8, 5, 10, I believe I will most likely go for something like uh, 6, 10, 9 and uh, 3, 4, 11. The other option I have is I can go for um, 6109 and uh, 592 point downwards. I believe uh, the 510 spot will be open for me. And even if the 510 is not open, maybe I can get to 9, 10, 11 in that case. And getting to the word port might be a good option there. 
I do have a lot of extra sheep, but I think the three to one port will be useful. On the other hand, instead of uh, 592, maybe I can just go for something like uh, 942, pair it up with uh, 6109, and then build on uh, 52. I think that is also a fine option. Start with the best wheat on board. I don't have a lot of brick in that case, but I think everybody will be fighting for brick. I do leave a very juicy spot of uh, 910, 5910 open uh, and I believe either uh, orange or red will pick it up. So I wouldn't want to do that. In any case, I am leaning towards, uh, maybe I can go for 6912 and start with a little weed. I think I'll go for that option here. Instead of uh, 6910. And now I think I will just go as planned previously for 592. And then build on 510 and maybe even 94. Uh, but I will I am a little dependent on twos rolling quite a bit in that case. The only issue is somebody can easily place on um, can easily place on uh, 9, 10, 11 and cut me off. Especially red, I believe, would want to do that. So in hindsight, I believe uh, for maybe I can go for 9, 10, 11 myself, but then uh, no break, very little ore, very little weed doesn't make much sense. So maybe I should go for... for 942 here and I can point upwards and try and go towards 62 but I think I'll just point to the right try and get to 52 here and the 3 to 1 port orange can go for 3 4 11 and then red will have a very strong position on okay orange goes for 5 9 10 I don't mind that at all Orange should point to the left, go towards the wood port. They do produce a lot of wood here. So now red can go for something like 3, 4, 11 or maybe 4, 5, 6, 5. I believe 3, 4, 11 makes some sense. And then black and can just go for 6-5 and play a Orvi cheap game. Goes for 9-10, uh, did not expect that at all. Yeah, I don't like red setup. I think black here does have the uh, choice of going for 4-3-11. Or 3, 4, 11. Uh, but I think 6, 5 is just fine. Point downwards, build on 3, 11. So yeah, I think builds on 6, 3, which is fine. So black is only playing with 6, 3 and 4 as the 3 numbers in hand. Here I am hoping to get a little lucky with a few early 2s rolling, giving me brick and uh, helping me build a few early settlements. Orange here just ran out of time, not sure. Uh, okay, maybe they weren't paying attention. Let's see if I can get a trade here. I don't think I will, but it is worth trying for sure. Yeah, so I'll just build my road and uh, end the turn. These sixes are really strong for black. 
giving them a sheep and an ore so most likely the four wheat will be blocked quite a bit yeah most likely i believe uh, red will red roll the seven and will block either the six sheep or the four wheat blocks the nine word uh not sure what and steals from me wow didn't expect that i would have surely targeted black in this position with the ore, with all the ore that they have I do get a two. That's a pretty good roll for me, giving me a settlement on the three to one port and the five over. So now I would want quite a few fives to roll, but then fives are very strong for orange, giving them a sheep and over. I would want to get to three, four, eleven. I don't think I will be able to get there. Here I roll a seven, and I think blocking black is an easy choice here. I do need the ore, and even if I get a sheep, I will still do a three to one. Uh, as I said, that I think just holding on to these cards is fine for now. Six does roll, so. black is blocked from some getting some more maybe i should try and build towards 4 5 or maybe 9 11 is slightly better increasing my ore production Rolls a three, so yeah, black is getting two cards whenever a six and a three is rolled, but not much otherwise. So at the very least, black will be able to get a dev card on their turn. Here I roll a seven, and I think at this point I would want to block red. I do get extra sheep, which I did not want, but it's fine. Let's see if I can get any trade. Two sheep for an over with uh, orange is not something that I'm looking for. So. Yeah, at this point, I'm not sure what my best option is. I will actually just convert my sheep into a single over and end my turn. I know I'm holding on to card, and if somebody, yeah, so immediately black rolls the seven, black can easily target me now on the nine board or the five over and steal from me. Does block the five ore. Luckily, doesn't steal my ore. 
but still uh, that block does hurt a bit Yeah, so black is basically just trying to get a city here. Instead, just gets a dev card and rolls a six. So I am actually not sure what my next action is. I am just waiting for two or 12 to roll, which is very, very unlikely. Four rolls here and maybe I can get a dev card, but I think just holding on to these cards is fine for now. Again, takes my sheep away. So it isn't the worst case yet. Luckily, my wheat and ore hasn't been stolen. Yeah, black is still looking for a city and instead just goes for another dev card. Maybe I should get dev card as well. Especially because I'm not getting any decent role for now. I, I mean, my roles are decent. It's just that I want two to roll, which seems very, very unlikely here. So I do get a one is to two. So now if a four or a 12 rolls, I will be able to get a city. Instead, I roll a 10 uh, and I'll just hold on to these cards. I am looking to get a city now. But from now, I think uh, orange has to be the number one target with the sheep port. And their sheep production is just too strong here with fives and tens. And they will surely be going towards the wood port next. Laser Knight, I think will still continue to target me. Yeah, does target me and takes my ore away. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I don't want to offer any, accept any trades for now. So, yeah, I mean, I think red will in the end just run out of time. Instead, just build the road. And is still looking for some trade, but uh, not sure what it does get a trade. So we'll be able to get a settlement on the three. Oh, I thought red was going to get a settlement. Instead, just goes for a dev card. Another nine rolls. So if a seven doesn't roll, I will be able to get a city. Uh, yeah, I think here I will just go for a city. I don't think that's a bad choice at all. Uh, 
I can go for a two dev cards, but then I think still, in any case, I am being targeted quite a bit, and that's why just getting a strong city would be very good. I will get it on six. Nine, eleven. I would want my six to be blocked rather than my four or nine, because I do. I'm not too concerned about getting sheep at this point or losing sheep. So. Yeah, this city does increase my production, but uh, I know I will be targeted, and I won't do, don't want my wheat or brick or ore to be targeted, and that's why I built a city on six here. Yeah, so red is desperately looking to get a settlement. I would want a two nine and a nine to roll so that I can build towards the three twelve eleven here. Wow, that's a huge trade, but uh, not sure who is going to accept. Three rolls here, so yeah, that's a pretty good roll for black again. Yeah, actually, I mean, none of these trades make any mm, makes much of a difference to me. So I'll just hold on to these cards. So orange here will just do a three to one with the with the bank. Oh, actually, orange doesn't need to do three to one. Orange can do a two to one there. Okay, does a four to one and gets a settlement. Now orange is in a very very strong position, and no matter what, I will be blocking orange. A two is a pretty good roll for me. A very strong one for sure. Here, I wouldn't mind actually getting a settlement on six two. I, I was considering three eleven twelve four five and nine eleven, but I did not consider six two at all. I think getting a settlement on six two is a very good option as well. Your black has already played their second night, uh, so let's see whom that does That's block good. orange. And just ends the turn. So now, yeah, red will have to steal from me because, yeah, does steal from me here. And plays a knight. Very surprising. Is okay. So basically, red is just trying to get a break, I believe. Yeah, so I think red is just trying to get wheat, but nobody has any wheat. So anyway, so let's see what uh, red does. 
on my turn actually now i am not sure what i can do i still want no oh, that's a huge ask okay does get a trade with black and just for one brick uh, after all and goes for another defer so i'm not sure why red isn't building any settlements and at this point not much that i can do with the cards i have so yeah black already gets the largest army i wouldn't mind these fives though i will try and get a city on 492 next also nines haven't rolled in quite some time wouldn't mind a few nines so now a single five or nine can just give me a city actually single 9 5 6 or 2 uh, all of those give me another city and at this point i think i would want to get a city rather than couple of dev cards and the only reason for that is because black already has the largest army secured with uh, three cards and they already have one more unplayed dev card here so it doesn't make much sense for me to get those orange will surely get a dev card here or maybe just convert their resources into wheat or ore and hold on to the cards I think orange needs to go for dev cards especially because he is being targeted a bit yeah does go for a dev card there a uh, six rolls so i can go for let me try asking for a trade so i was saying i can go for two dev cards i would rather just go for a city here i think that is completely fine I will accept this trade with black although I am giving black a settlement I will be getting a city myself and that puts me in a pretty strong position and immediately I am rewarded with a four rolling in this game nobody is fighting for the longest road that is surely something that uh, i will keep in mind although i don't produce a lot of brick but my wood production is the strongest on the board right now a couple of nines would be an excellent role for me Let's see if I can get any one is to two. Yeah, I mean, Orange already has the one is to two ports, so these trades do not make any sense. Uh, anyway, if I ask for a two two cards, obviously Orange is not going to accept that offer. here if i roll a 5 on my turn i will surely go for a dev card i think getting dev cards at this point is completely fine uh let's see if i can get any trades Yeah, I think just going for a couple of dev cards is fine. I do get a victory point, so that is pretty good. 
I am actually not looking for knights at all. I would prefer victory points and yeah, road building is excellent as well. So now, if a single nine rolls, I will be able to build two roads and a settlement. Uh, just a second there. Somebody is at the door. I'll just pause the recording for a minute. Hello, we yeah, are back. So yeah, seems like I missed my turn there. Not sure what happened. Actually, so okay. Seems like red just rolled and offered quite a few trades. So I did not miss my turn. Uh. And uh, yeah, so red did play a monopoly on wheat. Sorry, on sheep. Stole twelve sheep there. Wow. So on my turn, I was able to get a few dev cards. I'm just trying to recollect what happened. Anyway, so now I roll a seven. And here I will be blocking orange. I believe orange is in a very strong position. I do get wood, but. Which I'm not looking for here. I'll just end my turn. Not much that I can do with the cards I I have in hand. I didn't actually. I didn't realize that black was already on five points. Yeah, so I should have targeted black, but any in, in any case, black did play the knight. But uh, yeah, surely a mistake there on my part. I wanted to say I wanted to block black. Instead, I said something which makes no sense. Here I don't have any ore in hand. I'm still looking for a nine to roll. Red finally gets a settlement. Orange plays a road building. I think is getting a settlement on four five. Or is one card short of getting a settlement? Yeah, we're still able to get a settlement after doing a couple of trades there. So based on the cards I have, not much that I can do. I'll just end my turn. Yeah, so these sixes are really strong for black. Black should be very close to victory soon. Black will be able to get a city. So and plus with black having the ore port, it's extra strong for him now. But I, okay, black is able to get a city now. Hopefully, no sevens are rolled. I would still want a few nines to roll. I think nines are the best for me. Your red plays the knight. Red should be blocking the six or blocks the four wheat. I don't mind that, especially because I already have some wheat in hand. Yeah, I would love to see a couple of nines. Yeah. Eights are good for orange. Even five is no is not good for me anymore because five gives orange a ore and two sheep. So basically, that's like two ores. And if uh, if orange gets a city on eight five ten, 
orange will be very very strong yeah i'm still considering if i should build a settlement on 911 but i think i i think 62 is just better although 6 or might be blocked i believe black will be able to play a uh, knight and unblock himself yeah unfortunately i roll a 7 here and at this point not much of a choice have to block black i do get an or and with the cards i have in hand i believe my only option is to get a victory point or uh, is to get a dev card and hope it's a victory point here i think black will block the 5 or and steals from me which is unfortunate here but that's how it is again based on the cards i have in hand i think i will not be playing my road building just yet i will be playing my knight and i have to block the 6 or let's see what orange does Here I will play my knight after rolling the die, hoping that if seven rolls, black will have to lose out on four cards. Unfortunately, a seven doesn't roll here. I get a wood, uh, so I'll just not much for me to do with the wood. Maybe I can just convert it into a brick and end my turn. yeah so it makes sense what everyone is saying that i should try and get the longest road but if a 7 doesn't roll your orange so yeah orange continues to get more dev card ten rolls here here orange is uh, disconnected so not sure what the issue is I will be able to get a settlement on 9411 though. Oh, sorry, uh, 911. <laughs> So here bot plays a knight. I roll a four here. So actually I can cut off a red by building on three, twelve, eleven. Let's see if I can get any trades. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, bot accepts it. I think I'll just go for it. And now I can do a three to one. Play my road building. And get a settlement on three four eleven. I think this puts me in a pretty good position as well. And I can continue to fight for the longest road if I need to. So yeah, black continues to play the knight. Will block the nine board, I believe. Yeah, does block the nine board here. Steals from me, which is not uh, surprising. And eleven rolls. So if a nine rolls, I will be able to get the longest road. I still need another point, so let's see what I can do to get that. Here, so orange is back. So maybe orange might now fight for the longest road as well. I believe my best case scenario again in uh, here is to get a victory point. Plays a monopoly. Uh, that's a pretty strong monopoly. Getting eleven wheats. Gets a city. I think we'll be able to get another one as well. Still has 16 cards in hand. So both the monopolies have been played. So that is not something that I should be worried about anymore. Might just go for a dev card. But uh, yeah, does go for dev card here. I would have preferred if uh, red went for a city. I mean, I would have personally tried getting another city, especially getting a city on something like nine ten. Or uh, both those numbers haven't been blocked much in this game, and might not be blocked at all. Yeah. Let's see what orange does here. Orange rolls the seven, and I think orange will target me, block the six sheep, and steal from me. Yeah, does do that. Unfortunate. I mean, black doesn't have any cards, so orange did not have any option but to steal from me at this in this case. Yeah, but now surely orange is trying to get. To the longest road with a single over, I cannot do much. I'll just end my turn. Black plays another knight. Will block the nine board, I believe, and uh, steal from me again. Yeah, I think uh, uh, once orange gets a six, okay, steal from red. So here, orange will be able to get the longest road. Okay, so orange has disconnected again. Unfortunate, but uh, that's how it is. Okay. Yeah, red could easily be on nine points here. Whoop. 
there aren't a lot of dev cards remaining in the pile A nine rolls. That's a pretty good roll for me. I think it's a good roll for Orange as well. Most likely, Orange will get the longest roll this turn. I think Orange should have built it, built a city on eight five ten. Twelve rolls here. I can go for a dev card, but I think I just need to go for building a road and getting the longest road for now. Actually, to be very honest, I don't think I will be able to hold on to the longest road at all this game, and uh, most likely, if Red has a road building, Red will take it anyway. If building a single road doesn't matter. So in that case, I think I have to go for a dev card here. Hope that I get another victory point. I do. So that's pretty good. So now I need to focus on the longest road for sure. I wouldn't mind if Black takes the longest road. Okay. Uh, plays a knight. So Red will surely not be playing a road building this turn. That is exactly what I want to see. Unfortunately, steals my wood. That is the only resource that I did not want to be stolen. I do get it back, but uh, let's see now. I need. I still need a nine or a eleven or a two to roll so that I can get the longest road. Three isn't going to do much for me. A two would be the best case scenario. Okay, instead I just roll a seven, and I think I have to block red. I do get a word. Uh, let's see if I can get this trade from someone. Red accepts it. Wow. And now I can just do a three to one, get the longest road, and win the game. So Red accepted that uh, offer, and that gives me the win. And uh, yeah, so pretty good game there for me. I don't think my setup was the strongest at all. I mean, I don't even think I was close to being the strongest setup. But um, got very lucky. Got a road building that did help me get the longest road for sure. And here, getting two VPs was also pretty lucky for me. Those are exactly the cards that I wanted. Uh, surprisingly. Yeah, red had one victory point, and say so I had two, and everyone else had one. So I was able to pull the last VP in the game. Uh, that was there. So very very lucky for me. And yeah, tens did roll quite a bit. I was not able to get anything, but uh, luckily it did not matter much. Sixes were very strong for black, but um, I think I was. I benefited more out of it, especially because of sixes and nines com combined were very good for me. Uh, fives also gave me a few ores uh, when needed. Resource card, yeah, lot of uh, wheat. Oh, sorry, lot of sheep and very little brick because eights did not roll much. I think that makes sense. Yeah, dev cards. All the dev cards were used up in this game. 
and that's the activity stats and yeah when it comes to production yeah so orange clearly had better production than me uh and yeah so that's my second placement match i will continue to play these and hopefully i can continue my winning streak now uh bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye